Okay, so uh, just being joined by Hank Stevenson following the uh, Arrows Academy versus uh, Quebec game. And um, Hank, first game with a uh, run out with the Academy this year. So, what are your thoughts on the game in, in general? Kind of, uh, you guys seem to uh, get down and then you, uh, you fought your way back in the second half. Yeah, you know, it's a, a first hitter of the season. A lot of the guys, uh, you know, we haven't trained until, you know, today. So, uh, a lot of positives to take away from this, although it wasn't the result we wanted. Uh, I think ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we let ourselves down. It was the, our mistakes that, that caused the loss. So uh, we're building towards that uh, Atlantic Cup. Uh, a lot of positives, and we're just going to keep the momentum forward, have some work ons, and uh, yeah. But all, all in all, we're, we're really positive about that performance. Sure. And uh, so you are part of the Arrows High Performance Academy as well, which gave you the opportunity to get into a couple MLR games over the yeah. past couple of weeks. How has that experience been for you, uh, being part of the academy, training with uh, the big club, and then ultimately getting a chance to play a couple MLR games this month? Yeah, it's been it's been amazing. You know, we're in there every day, and then uh, you know, finally getting that, that senior contract and, and being part of the, the team and getting uh, some MLR game time. It's been uh, an incredible experience and super grateful and uh, you know just just going to build on that and, and uh, help the boys uh, get that shield so yeah, there was up. <laughs> perfect do you have any any predictions for the uh, game against the free jacks that's about to come this uh, it's going to be an interesting one because a lot of uh, old arrows are on that that free jack side so it's going to be a physical game uh, you know got a root for the, the arrows uh, you know we, we have our game plan we really working through the week so I think we're going to come out on top but it's really going to have to fight for that one perfect thank, yeah. thank you for your time awesome. so uh, being joined by uh, Brendan Black now and uh, Brendan, uh, tough loss uh, today against uh, Quebec. But uh, what are just your thoughts on the game? And you guys got your uh, first hit out as an academy squad this year. Yeah, no, it was uh, it was good. It was good fun. We only got together just yesterday once before the game, so just trying to settle everything in a short period of time was tough. But I think uh, there's no lack of effort. The boys gave it their all. Just just practice together, more time together, just to keep improving. For sure. And uh, so you kind of got the ball rolling for your squad um, with a try early in the game. So what were you kind of seeing on that try, and how did that develop? Up from your end. Uh, I was just working across the field to the open side and um, our 12 Jacob Bins just called me to just connect behind him. I play with him at Guelph and for uh, for club with Oakland Crusaders so we got some, some chemistry together so it ended up just working well, sent me through the hole. And just Perfect and uh, how has your uh, experience uh, playing with the uh, Toronto Arrows High Performance Academy and obviously you got into a couple MLR games earlier, earlier this season so and uh, becoming the uh, youngest player to play in an MLR game as well so how, how has that experience helped you and uh, helped you develop your game um, as you continue to grow with the academy. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely been an awesome experience. Uh, playing just with some like class players, learning a lot from them. Just being in the professional environment has been great. I've learned a lot and uh, yeah, it just helps with uh, with some confidence and shows shows what you need to do to make it to the next level. Perfect, Brandon. Thank you for your time. Thank you.